Hi, my name is Riley and today we're going to be building an electric scooter. First, let's understand some key terms. Voltage is the energy potential and how much force is ready to be used. Amperage is how much electricity or current is flowing through the circuit. The electrical power is measured in watts. It's a combination of both volts and amps. Watts is equal to amps times volts. Depending on how we wire our batteries actually determines our volts and amps. Here, our batteries are connected in a parallel, which will double the amperage, but our voltage will stay the same. Here, the batteries are connected in a series, which means the voltage doubles, but the amperage stays the same. In this project, we'll be using two 12 volt 18 ampere hour batteries. An amp hour is just like amps, but it's the amount of current a certain battery can supply for a certain amount of time, exactly one hour. The batteries are going to be wired in series. So to calculate watt hour, we would do 24 times 18 to get 432. If our batteries were wired in parallel, we would find the watt hour by doing 12 volts times 36 amps per hour to also get 432 watt hour. So you might be wondering, if the watt hour is the same, what's the point in wiring the batteries in series over parallel? Higher voltage increases the efficiency. This also results in a lower current, which lowers the resistance losses in the conductors. Low resistance means lower the energy loss. Now let's take a look at each of these components within the circuit. We already discussed their batteries, which will be supplying 24 volts and 18 amps per hour. The controller is basically the brains of the circuit. Everything is wired through the controller. The controller is also rated for 24 volts. Next, we have the throttle, which is important when controlling the motor speed. This is a light, which just helps to indicate when the circuit is completely closed. And last, we have our motor. This is also rated for 24 volt. Now we can begin the most exciting part, the wiring, which might look complicated, but it's actually quite easy. This controller happened to come with a manual that showed where each of the pieces connected. If you want the motor to spin in the opposite direction, all you have to do is switch the wires. Little safety precaution, never ever let these two wires touch. This creates an overloaded circuit because there's more electrical power than the circuit can handle. Now that we got the circuit running, we can start the building process. We will be working with wood to create a prototype. Prototypes are a key step in the development process. Several prototypes may need to be created in order to find the perfect design for this scooter. Next, we just add all our components to the prototype and we're ready to take this baby for a spin. Obviously, there's a couple ways we can improve the scooter. We can change the bracket ratio to either increase torque or to increase speed. We can charge the batteries after each use to make sure they're most efficient. And we can try to reduce the scooter's weight by using lighter material. There's so much more we can talk about, but my time is up and thanks for watching.